And welcome to the third part of the water tower build series. In part one I built the foundation, in part two I built the actual water tower and now in part three I'm putting it all together. I'm attaching the tower to the foundation with these angle brackets. They are not the super strong kind, I need them a little flexible so they can be bent to that 3 degrees the legs of the tower go inwards. First objective is to get the tower level at the top, so I am adjusting the four brackets until the top is level in both directions. Then I am attaching the brackets to the legs with some small screws so I can take off the clamps. Now I can mark and drill the anchor holes into the foundation. These are 3 8 holes with some concrete sleeve anchors. To securely attach the legs to the brackets, I'm using two 3 8 hex bolts for each of the four legs. But now with all the leveling, the legs don't rest on the foundation any longer. All the weight now rests on these bolts and the rather flimsy angle brackets. This is okay for the tower itself, but I want it a little stronger for when there's about 450 pounds of water in the barrel. So here's how I plan to fix that. First, I'm drilling another hole into the front of the bracket for one more bolt. The idea is to fill all of this up with another batch of concrete, so the bottom part of the bracket will be encased in concrete and the bolt sticking out to the front will further hold the bracket in place. The legs will now rest on the foundation and all the bracket needs to prevent is any lateral movement. With this method I could make sure all four legs rest on the foundation and the top is also 100% level. I had some help mixing up the concrete. This roadrunner lives around here and since we started feeding him, he becomes more and more demanding. He's knocking at the door if he wants some food. While the concrete cures, I can prepare the barrel. We found this one on Craigslist. They come in many different colors and different states of decay. This one is food grade and was used for sweetener or something. It's in pretty good shape, but to be safe, I'm putting a bead of cork on the inside of the bottom plate. Not sure if the bottom is welded or just crimped, but I'm thinking if it will leak, it will do so where the bottom meets the side wall. Now it needs a drain. I want it at the bottom. Well, obviously at the bottom, but I mean at the bottom bottom, not at the side. I need to drill a, a one and a quarter inch hole right in the middle. And then I can install a brass bulkhead tank fitting with a three quarter inch female thread. It's amazing what odd stuff Amazon has in stock for same day delivery.
At the top of the barrel I'm putting in four of these eyeballs. With these I can tie down the barrel to the base. Not sure if this is really needed but it looks cool and it might help keeping the barrel up there when it's not full and heavy. And of course it needs some graphics. All the water towers have it and mine is getting it too. I cut the template with the vinyl cutter and then sprayed it on with some flat metal primer. I could have used the vinyl decal instead of spraying it on, but I'm thinking over time when it weathers, the spray paint looks more rustic than a clean cut vinyl decal. And now for the big moment, putting the barrel on top of the tower. I can easily center it with the drain at the bottom and then tie it down to all four corners. Other than that, it is not fastened to the tower. When full, the barrel will weigh almost 500 pounds. This should be inherently stable. Now for the plumbing. Water needs to go in and come out. I could have used PVC instead of copper, which would have been way cheaper, but I think copper fits the overall theme better and after all it's not that much pipe. I'm putting in a T at the bottom. One side goes to the outlet to the drip irrigation system and the other side goes up and to the side of the barrel where I will attach a clear pipe as a water gauge. This clear pipe is PVC. I couldn't find any clear copper pipe. It's very hard to solder the joints without burning the whole tower down, at least for me it is. But those burn marks just add character, I guess. The inlet is mostly a straight pipe snaked around the overhang of the platform. We will attach a garden hose to fill the barrel up. Maybe later I can build some sort of a solar driven dedicated pump that fills it up from one of the rainwater collection barrels. But that's for another time. And that's it. I think it came out great and it is not only pretty but also functional. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you back soon. Wait, 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 wait. I'll make a video about the drip irrigation system later.